soon as we get an invite. Yes, as soon um, as we get an invite. There we there go. go. It's going right. to be on Frost. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we're enjoying ourselves here, guys, at the Microsoft Store in Yorktown. I'm all powered here by Toshiba Canada, and this non-break was brought to you by them because we're jumping straight into game number two. <laughs> yep, Countdown has finished up here. And Frost four-player map. We haven't seen many four-player maps today. Okay. Not uh, at all. No, it's yeah. been a lot <laughs> of one-on-ones uh, in terms of just the placements, like... This time, you know, maybe we're going to see a little bit more of a macro-oriented game. Depends on which way the overlords go, I suppose. But our ZVT game number two about to start here with Complexity Henderlisk. Yep. And over on the opposite corner, horizontally, of course, we have our orange Terran representing Root Gaming. It is Masa. I love the Root symbol, by the way. He looks so... He looks like a nut, actually. Like I, every time I look at it, it's <laughs> not a root to me. I always think of like an <laughs> acorn or a walnut or something. That, that's true, actually. I think yeah, it's you're like right. I think it's yeah. just maybe because you know so much uh, Legend of Zelda and Pikmin back in the day just kind of gives <laughs> yeah, you a yeah. little bit more of a misrepresentation of what things would look like if they yeah. had faces. To well, me, well, uh, it always just looks like a nut. Well, well, I guess Pikmin do come out of the ground, so somewhat, but they're not yeah. nuts. I don't even know what those are. <laughs> to Th be they're honest. Pikmin. That's what they are. <laughs> They yeah, but they don't really translate well to the real world. That's you know? true. <laughs> <laughs> no cheese kind of going on here from Massa this round. He's just going to go with a standard wall off. And again, like on a four-player map, very, very curious to see if we would see any kind of huge, like early, early aggression where you sacrifice your economy because you just don't know where your opponent is. Yeah. And right now, Hendulus, he's he sent his first overlord over towards the bottom right, mm -hmm. but um, he's going to be sending a second to the top left. It's, it's going to be a little delayed. He's going to be going... Hatchery first, because it's a four-player map, I can play safe, mm -hmm. but Masa's like, nope. Are we going to see Reapers again? Probably, because that Masa at TVZ, he, he enjoys his Reapers. You got a 33% chance at choosing correctly here. I'm it, gonna go it's either going to pay off or it won't. <laughs> yep. So I guess you actually have a 50% chance. <laughs> it either work or it won't. Oh, uh, Reaper is coming out, and he is going to go the wrong way, it seems. But we also, again, like as you said, have that hatchery coming out. And if we can't apply any pressure against the Zerg, and now you're facing a two-bay Zerg only on your one, it's going to put you at a disadvantage. Yep. Right now, second barracks is going to be going down. SCV Scout has been headed to over towards the east. So he might actually be able to find Hendulisk and redirect this Reaper in time. Yeah, as we won't lose out too much time. But at the same time, we also have a third now coming down from Hendulisk. Yeah, it's going to be over here, uh, over towards the outside, but mainly because if he put it over here towards the left of his main, it would have caused just way more problems. That would be nigh undefendable against early Reapers. Yeah. And again, Masa just with the double Reapers. Again, that it's what he does. It is his TVZ opener. Yep. Quite a while. All right, so he didn't really lose out any time. We are going to get a bunker down there. So, you know, early aggression might really pull off for Massa here in this best of five. Because he is only up 1-0. I mean, at this point, he can do pretty much any kind of comps that he wants. But we don't even have the spawning pool because we went for that early third. Uh, extremely early for Hengelus. So he's just going to have to dance around with his drones. And finally, yeah. the first fatality will drop. More Reapers are going to be on its way, though. And oh. can... Oh. Can the six Zerglings eventually spawn and make a little bit better of a situation for him? Oh, and it looks like the Zerglings will spawn, but there is now two Reapers, two more on the way as well. Second bunker. Oh, actually, a third Reaper also going to be coming up. And, yeah, as you said, second bunker. So right now, Masa, he's just trying to close out these games as quickly as he possibly can with these Reapers. So far, we've seen four workers killed by the Reapers alone. Queen is finally going to spawn, and that's going to be a little bit of meat here for the... A Reapers to kind of deal with that second bunker is actually going to finish up. SCV still alive, and again, like the Zerglings just have to fall back. They're very hard pressed to make a better situation out of this, and we can just kind of leapfrog from bunker to bunker. And that queen is going to take quite the hits there. You heard the scan go down. Did the scan look at the third? I suspect it looked at the third. Yeah, it probably did. And GG yeah. from Hendulus. Masa going to be taking a quick game number two. What, what do you do against that many Reapers <laughs> that early when you take three straight hatcheries? It, it was a build order loss. It was Hengelus, he tried pushing his luck there on that four-player map. He's like, yeah, it's a four-player map. It's very big. You're not going to scout me first, and you're obviously not going to go Reapers again. That was a six-minute game. 
Yeah, that <laughs> that was that was a six minute game. That's a six minute game. And even shorter in real time. Right, that's a six blizzard minute game. Yeah. <laughs> Quite right, yeah. <laughs> so uh So okay. right now Mass is up two zero and it looks like so far your prediction of uh, a mass of, of a uh, an advantage going the way of Massa simply due to experience. It's paying off. It's paying yeah. off. And I guess we could head to a quick break, possibly? Before getting yeah, we'll take a quick break here, guys. Game yeah. number three going to be coming your way in just a moment. Massa and Hendralisk, don't go anywhere.